Welcome, 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 Libra, 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 Libra. What do you guys like trying to decide who you're at right now? <laughs> Libra, May, week three, 2021, Libra. You guys tend to always do the right thing, so I do feel maybe a little sensitivity. Well, that would make sense since guilt just came out. I released... Any benefits that are no longer assisting my soul's growth. So you're being, you're, you're obviously in a situation where something is not working, it's not growing, and you're feeling bad for the decisions you make. The lesson here is to not feel bad because a situation is not growing and you should always come first. Okay? So current energy. The Libra, current energy. Someone's quiet. This is somebody who's laying the weight down and making the right decisions. But that means you also have to stop putting effort into a situation. The love is reversed. You're making a decision. You're laying the weight down. So there could be other people involved. And you're fully aware that less energy and work goes into one thing versus the other. Because you're seeing something here. What he or she is thinking or feeling. Let's see, it's, it's sticky still. It's tricky and sticky. So someone's fully aware that you're making a decision or they're making a decision. Yeah, see this, this, it's like you're blocked or they're still blocked. Yeah, see, it's, it's, it's there is a massive, I, I saw this in a couple other ones. Um, it's not just being guided, okay? There's there's somebody blocking you from this. But to me, it, it's, it doesn't matter. This is where the guilt is coming from. Because you were in a situation that wasn't moving, it's not growing. And who you're dealing with does not want to see that you're laying the weight down and you're making a decision to go in a new direction. It's clear as day. So what you don't see coming... Still sticky. Yeah, so oh someone is going to be stuck in their emotions. Someone feels bad they didn't invest in a situation. They're just kind of watching. And again, it's like someone feels guilty for the way something went down. But it's almost like they feel guilty because they didn't invest in you. So somebody is definitely sitting in this. Possible outcome. High Priestess. Wheel of Fortune. Could be following destiny. Could end up with somebody extremely spiritual. Current past. Two days ago, two hours ago. Two years ago, hurt, pain, disappointment. So let's start with that. Tell me about the past. Yeah, there's something tricky happened. You could have been in a karmic situation. Something didn't pan out. There was there was no balance. There was there was no balance. I'm. You know, um, a man could have hurt you. A woman could have hurt you. It's definitely saying a Libra energy, Pisces, or Earth. It's like someone had to sacrifice something in order to get to where they needed to be. What I'm loving is that you're laying the weight down. You're no longer taking on some type of burden. You're making a decision. And it's an important decision. It's the lovers. 
where to invest and where not to invest. Yeah, see, it is, you got a whole new vibe right around the corner if it ha that hasn't hit you yet. I do want to know what this three of pence is because I think it's you just not putting effort into something. Yeah, see, something ended. And you, it's like a cycle ending. You're no longer putting energy in it. You, you're laying the weight down. You're following a new idea. You're following your passion. You're going after something you want. All right. So now whomever you're dealing with, I, I don't know, this person, like, I don't know, but somebody's is just trying to block you from having a new stat. Yeah, somebody's definitely was trying to block you from moving forward. But again, you're moving forward. It's the end of a family situation. It's the end of something. It's definitely stressing you out or this is stressing them out. They realize you are moving forward. You're no longer confused. It's almost like someone kept you in that confusion state. Okay, you're no longer confused and yeah, they're stressed out. But you know what? This is somebody who kept you from your own dreams, your own passion. It blocked your creativity, blocked a person, blocked your future. This is somebody that didn't want you to have something else. Kisses unconditionally loving. Giving, receiving, falling in love. Someone could have sabotaged this situation by not making a decision. But see, too many options, conventional one night stands, but wanting to work on it. So there's something good here and there's something that's not. All right. Yeah, see, enough, not enough. Frustrated. Lack of confidence, self sabotage. So, in a way, you self sabotage a situation too. By letting somebody block you. Because you were fully aware somebody was blocking you. Because something something had to have come out. Justice kicked in. Karma kicked in. You laying the weight down. You're seeing things differently. This is somebody who straight up blocked you. From unconditional love. From falling in love. Someone who purposely sabotaged it. Somebody could have came in. They weren't happy with the dynamic. And it's, it's like they were feeling like they weren't enough. This was, you know, jealousy. Well, I'm telling you right now, you made someone feel like shit. You had something good. You could have moved forward, but you blocked it. You could have been protecting your money. But I don't see it that way because decisions, one night stands, jealousy, sabotage, you know. This was somebody, a family situation that you were blocked. Someone, whatever was going down within the family was blocking you from moving forward. But not anymore. You're laying the weight down. It's phenomenal. So what you don't see coming, so this is the you or them. This is somebody who wants to apologize, someone who's upset. They invested in the wrong thing. Right now they're just kind of keeping an eye on you or somebody. There's no future with something that was extremely toxic. It's way more than that, though. Yeah, see, five of pence. I mean, five of swords, bottom of the deck. Major change is needed. Someone could be fearing. This could be somebody else or whatever went down fearing... That someone's no longer waiting, dating, putting their energy elsewhere. This is like somebody's thoughts while they're just watching you. Yeah, see that was at the end anyway. It's like they're seeing something now. They're they're nervous that you're dating, you moved on. You're no longer waiting. Yeah, you know, see, you won't give them a time of day. They didn't take action when they should have. 
but it's still not saying they're coming at you. It's, it's just, it's almost reminding me of like, well, maybe this is who they were dealing with and now this is how they're thinking. Others of you, this is somebody is letting go. Yeah, see, karmic, letting go. Maybe you just didn't see it coming. Maybe you didn't think somebody was really going to let someone go, and, and they are. Because some of you are dealing with the Leo, because the, the story switched when that card came out. And now this energy is no longer putting energy into it, dropping the weight. So it was just toxic. It was unhealthy. And, and there's an energy here that was probably playing games, doing something wrong. Strong feminine energy that was blocking a masculine from moving forward is now has to sit with their own karma. No, no longer investing in a situation, in a, in a marriage, whatever it was, family dynamic. So outcome, we have the high priestess. Could be following destiny. Yeah, this is... I just heard, I'm in love with the shape of you. So this is somebody who's spiritual. This actually came out in Aquarius, if you guys want to watch it. Okay. And there's there's a new offer. And it's it's divinely guided, too. It This is, talks about your destiny. It's Whatever went down and is about to go down is destined. What a great read. Yeah, it's, it's a fucking phenomenal read. You're dropping the weight. You're not letting anyone keep you restricted. You're ending cycles that no longer serve you, right? You're seeing that somebody else is blocking you. They're realizing they can't block you anymore. It's more than just a one-night stand. It's more than this. And now they're like, oh, man, I'm not enough. Well, something karmic happens over here, right? Games, like something for the wrong reasons. I can feel it. And now it's like... No matter if you're dating someone spiritual or not, this is you following your damn destiny, getting your spark back, and falling in love. It's beautiful. Don't feel bad for how this is going down. You're wrapping up something that was unhealthy, that was toxic. You know? What a kick-ass read, guys. I wish you luck. I hope you have an amazing week. I'll see you on Patreon.